it's Michelle. So this video, basically, I was going to do a wee talk on my head tattoo and some general vloggy chit chat for you guys. It turned into about a half hour video and that's just too much for MD to listen to me. So I'm going to split it into parts, either two parts or into three parts so that it's not quite um, so much Michelle to listen to and a whinny. So um, guys, if you are wanting to have me listen to this vlog and some chat about my head tattoo and my general thinking on life, then that's what's just coming up now. Um, I might look a bit different. I had coloured contacts in earlier. I have just taken them out, just went, got all my medicine, took out my contacts and I am just chilling in bed now wearing my fancy purity headwear by Mass Me, Yana. So guys, enjoy the video. I hope it's okay and let me know what I can do for you. Hi guys, it's Michelle and I am back again, looking probably totally different um, and I'm back here today to do um, a wee vlog part five and I was thinking, um, a couple of people have messaged me on Facebook and thank you so much for um, suggestions, it's really cool. Um, so somebody had said, would I do a wee chat on my head tattoo and I thought, yeah, I could do that, that's fine, that's absolutely grand. So today is just a wee talk about my head tattoo. <coughs> I actually have written a wee kind of article on my head's tattoo. Um, this is just to let you see it. The article that I've written is actually on the Simply Wigs at Whispers channel um, online. So you can go to their online magazine Whispers and read all my blogs and stuff about me and stuff. But this is a vlog, a vlog um, video, um, log chat, wee bit about get to see me, get to hear me talking, tell, just have a wee chat with you guys. So what I'm going to do, let's just take the hair off. This, by the way, is amazing. I can't get enough of this Trend Co Gem Collection. This is the diamond in the shade is 33 slash 130 human hair. It's a totally vibrant red, brown, and I'm kind of in love. I do have this in um, another shade as well, more of a kind of blondie, brownie light tone. But um, yeah, as far as wigs go, oh, this is the best. I am loving it. So I got this from Simply Wigs and I'm just so in love. Thank you, Chenko, for this amazing hair um, that you produce. And thank you, Simply Wigs, for being so awesome and selling it. And selling it at such amazing pricing and being so wonderful. Yeah, anyway, that's not what I'm here for. I am here today to do a wee chat with you guys about me, about Michelle, and voila, to discuss this wee bad boy on my head. So, um, yeah, so basically... What happened was, um, for those who may know me, may not know me, or um, know of me, or have seen me about, and are, you know, uh, things, I have tattoos, I've got quite a lot of tattoos. Um, I funnily, do you know what's really funny? When I was younger, I was of the opinion that I hated them. I didn't like tattoos. I thought they were tacky. I always said I would never get a tattoo. I would never get a tattoo, never, never, never get a tattoo. <laughs> um, yeah, I genuinely didn't ever want them. I used to think they were wrong and um, anyway, after a lot of different things and thoughts and prayers and all sorts, um, yeah, anyway, I have become a bit of a tattoo addict and lover of tattoos, what I love about them. My tattoos that I have all hold a lot of meaning for me. All of them, every single tattoo I have, has some meaning. Whether it's the symbolism of the artwork that I have on my body or whether it is something that represents a specific time and or event in my life, um, everything that I have on me has some meaning. So when people say things to me like, what if you get really sick, um, sick of them one day? What if you don't like how that looks anymore? Like, what if you're 70 years old and you have these lilies all down your arm, like pink and blue and purple? Is that not a bit weird? Like, what if you don't like them and they just don't look right anymore and you don't like how they look? And I kind of, I understand that rationale. Absolutely understand people asking that. And for me, I am more of the opinion, I didn't get them for how they look. I wanted them to look nice. I did. I also said if I ever got a tattoo, when I did start getting them, I was never getting colour. And I do have colour. Um, but, like, for me then, that, for example, with the lilies, I'm kind of of the opinion, well, yeah, but I, even if I do feel like I don't like how they look anymore, um, the lilies I got because they're a symbol of motherhood. So I have pink lilies for my girls, I have blue lilies for my boys, and I have purple lily for um, a baby that I lost. And to me, that's always going to hold a lot of meaning. 
because that's what they symbolise. So even if I aesthetically feel they are not pleasing to my eye any longer when I get older, um, they will always hold that meaning to me and that's so special and I'm always going to love my babies so much. Um, my chest tattoo, this is, a, this is meant to be my head tattoo and I'm talking about every tattoo apart from my head. This is Spiro Meliora. It is the Clan Moffat motto. The meaning behind this is what I absolutely love. Spiro Meliora means I aspire to greater things. And for me, I kind of think, yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing to live by. Um, you know, so I love the meaning behind that because I want to remind myself every day I do aspire to greater things. Not greater things as in money and wealth and all that kind of stuff. All these things would be lovely. But I aspire to greater things and who I am as a person. I want to be a better person, I want to be kinder, I want to help other people, I want to be there for people, I want to be more loving, caring, considerate, um, you know, and I that for me is better things, that for me is, you know, what is truly important, this is not even about my head, why am I doing this? <laughs> this is this is me in the tangents, like, poof, poof, poof. Like, I start talking and I'm like, oh, this, oh, this. That's like me when I study as well. See, this is me doing it already. Um, I'm so random. Um, like, if I start studying and I'll get so excited about, like, I'll start reading about the electrical activity in the heart and, like, interpretation of maybe, like, an ECG. And then I'll find myself all of a sudden, it's, like, two hours later and I'm now reading about, I don't know neural response or something, I don't know, like totally, total separate issues or like, we are looking up shoes and wigs, head to her, <laughs> I don't know, anyway guys, right, so head tattoo, head tattoo, this is a lotus mandala, some people say to me, why did you get a spider web on your head, why have you got like a big doily, it's not, it's not, it's a lotus mandala and it is absolutely symmetrical, the person who did this is called Nico Ono and I got this done at the studio in Glasgow. I chose to go there because I had seen his work. I had seen the studio and the different artists there and all of their work. It is a phenomenal place. If you live in Scotland, I highly recommend going there. There are so many different artists depending on what you're looking for. Um, Nico, I chose for um, the fact I had seen a lot of his work. I spoke to him online and I got this done in January 2016, or February, February 2016, start of February. My birthday is the end of January and um, my husband had asked what I wanted for my birthday. And I was like, I want a tattoo. It's like, no. It was, well, it was, no, you're not getting a wig. <laughs> You've got loads. I was like, oh, but I love them. And then I thought, do you know what I want? I want a tattoo um, because I know what I want. I didn't like my head. Um, <laughs> That's so random, guys, but like, like, look at my face, right? So, if that tattoo is not there, honestly, I'm going to insert a photo. In fact, here comes a photo. Oh my goodness, guys, it's actually so big, I can't even fit it all on the screen. Right, guys, so there you go, that photo that you'll have just seen there. Um, I feel like my head's huge, it feels like it's up to here, like, looking at it, and that's how I felt at the time. I'm like, I could actually draw a whole other face right on top because my head was so big um, I never thought I would show my head to anyone I never thought don't get me wrong I put photos on Facebook I've spoke about this mother vlog um, about letting people see me without seeing me in person um, but for me I never expected to walk around bald for anyone other than maybe like in my own house to see me without hair on or whatever so then I decided I wanted something and I wanted it my head, I decided my head, basically I wanted the Lotus Mandala because it's a symbol of spiritual awakening and growth and change and there's, there's actually so much meaning behind the whole Lotus Mandala, it's massive. So aesthetically there are variations of this I could have had done. I chose this for kind of more special reasons. It was designed absolutely individually for me. Nico is an absolute perfectionist and wanted to make sure I had something I was so happy with and I'm going to link the tattoo studio down below actually if I can do that um, in the description bar for you guys. Um, so for me it kind of was the meaning more than the placement. Now um, I was going to get this lotus mandala, didn't know where to get it, what to do. 
I had it um, when my hair fell out first. One of my friends, she doesn't have any tattoos. I have grown up with Lindsay since we were like babies. Babies. We were kind of like, grew up like, just like we're sisters, do you know? And um, she's got no tattoos. And she was like totally shocked that she never thought I would get them like how it was when I was younger. Anyway, regardless. So, um, Lindsay had said to me like, like when my hair fell out and I was upset, like we laughed together, we cried together, do you know, it was just, she kind of went through it all with me and was just so like a rock for me at the time in so many ways and is always like that, do you know, like I've got, I've got a couple of friends that are close friends and they are just phenomenal, Paula, Lindsay, anyway, so Lindsay had, I think she had said one day in the passing, I don't even know if she would remember saying it, she said to me, she's like, oh yeah, I was making jokes about not having hair, I wasn't dealing with it well, but I was making jokes and whatever, and then she's like, oh, it's more tattoo space, because I'm covered in tattoos, and I was like, what idea would get a tattoo in their head, why would you, not idea, but I was like, why would you, why would you get a tattoo in your head, like, people don't do that, that's not, it's like, no, that's, no, it's not a thing, um, yeah, and I am one of those people that I was like, yeah, people don't do that. Yeah, they do. I've done it. Um, and for me, it was just the perfect place to put it. First of all, like, I wanted the Lotus Mandala. So actually, it's actually a great shape for, for this area <laughs> of body. It's perfect. But um, this spiritual awakening, I have my own faith. I have beliefs. Um, I believe in God. I you know, but regardless of what you do believe, what you don't believe, you know, everyone has a spiritual side, whether they have an actual faith or religion or anything like that. We're all spiritual beings, I believe. And, you know, um, the kind of spiritual awakening was a big thing to me. Um, I have had faith for a long time and, you know, so much has happened in my life, of the ups of the downs, but regardless, um, I kind of feel like, when I lost my hair, um, I've spoken a bit about this, I kind of felt like I was losing myself, I, I wasn't sure who I was, I was losing my identity, or I was forced to really examine myself in ways that I wasn't comfortable with and I didn't like, I didn't want to do it, I didn't want to look at me, um, but I kind of feel I was forced to, and it was it's actually such a good thing, thinking back on it, because, you know, I it was so, probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do, like physically, just now I keep pausing videos and trying to cut them back in together to make this seem as seamless as possible but I'm actually stopping a lot. Hi guys so I stopped at that part there to actually take my inhaler and get some medicine. Um, so actually it's about 10 minutes it's probably quite a good time wise time to cut this for the end of part one of my kind of tattoo intro to why I got my head tattoo chat so I'll stop that for just now right here and um, if you would like to hear some more of my incessant chatting and wacky thoughts and a wee bit more about me then you can watch the part the next part of this installment about the tattoos um and yeah it'll be uploaded very soon if it's not already on so thanks for watching this anyway guys um any questions as always just pop them down below any suggestions part two is just coming up